in today's video, man, I want to talk to men and women and tell you why you should leave hood ninjas and hood rats alone. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches. Man, first and foremost, when I say hood ninja and hood rat, man, I'm just describing the type of mentality, you know, the lack of wanting to produce good fruit, you know, not being worth anything, uh, loving the struggle mindset. I'm not talking about any specific uh, people, any particular race. I'm talking about a people that operate on a certain uh, wavelength, a certain low frequency, and they love it. Man, a lot of your tribulation, you know, if you're somebody that wants to do well for yourself as a woman or a man, and you want to be able to operate in a safe environment, uh, an environment where you don't have to worry about certain stuff, you know, part of that is gonna be avoiding hood ninjas and hood rats. And they come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. i tell you that. You have, uh, you have more than one race that has that hood, hood rat, hood ninja mentality. You gotta think, man, there's, there's brothers from the Caucasus Mountains that choose to live that lifestyle. Like they embrace it. You got uh, Asian people that choose to embrace that lifestyle. Hispanic people choose to embrace that lifestyle. You know, man, it is a, uh, it says a lot about you when you have an opportunity to get free from certain struggles and from around certain people. And what do you do, you know, due to your attraction of the opposite sex? You know, men out here, you gotta think, man, these, you gotta think about somebody like an athlete. Man, you didn't have an opportunity that's rare, once in a lifetime to get yourself in a better position, and you gotta know, man, that was to get you out. You're not gonna be able to attach yourself to a hood rat and think that she's gonna help you produce good fruit. They don't operate on that mindset. They don't operate on a higher frequency. You know, women out here, how many women that are educated, making a way for themselves, making a good living, you know, you're smart, but you might lack wisdom because you will go hit yourself, let this hood ninja, dude that don't want to produce nothing, don't want to work, you know, just as a bad representation of himself, you will go let this man skeet all up in you raw and you wonder why you can't get certain places. You want people to look at you like you're wise and you're smart and you made the the best choices, but no, man, you still got that struggle mindset. And one thing about it is, one thing about it is, when you attract low frequency people, it's generally because you operate on a low frequency. Meaning, you know, you have people that say, man, I need to do better with my life. And some of these people say they need to do better with their life for 50 years and not once make a change. And then you have the people that actually do better and they start making better decisions in order to live a better life. But you got to quit uh, being attracted and letting your flesh attract you to people that can just talk a good game. You know, people that say, man, I need to 
I need to do better in my life and only, you know, if I did this and did that, and you fall for that. Everybody walking around has potential. And the word says, by their fruit, you shall know them. You hitching yourself to a man that's got all the time in the world for you, but he don't have no time for a job. He don't have no time to punch in and punch out. And you will let this man, you know, uh, like I said, skeet up in you. A lot of women, man, they be, they be on a good path of being able to get themselves out of certain situations, but it's the choices when it comes to men and women, you know, that we choose and that'll cause you to struggle. You see what I'm saying? You getting, how many times have we seen, I want to say it was a, a, a celebrity woman. I'm not going to say the race or anything like that, but this woman was in politics and guess who she had laying up at the house? Oh, hood ninja. So when she got uh, indicted and looked into, guess what? Now all this other stuff is in it and it's a, it's a low frequency. You see what I'm saying? When you are a woman that's truly about something, you don't even attract those kind of guys. When you are a man that's about something, you don't even attract those kind of doggone uh, women. Like me, I don't, I don't attract uh, a very vain, a very uh, disrespectful, rebellious woman just the way I carry myself. You see what I'm saying? No time for fools. Same thing as a woman. If you're out here truly respecting yourself, trying to do what the book says, you're not gonna attract these type men. I feel for people, man, that when you see like some of these NBA players, man, they uh they sit up and make it all the way, and I'm talking about less than a 1% chance, and you make it, and then what do you do? You get the bag and you try to you try to uh, uh, wipe a, a, a hood rat, and you wonder why you making headlines. She was making headlines in the hood. You get with these no good dudes, and now they they got you wrapped up some stuff. They, they, they ain't their first time making headlines. I'll never get what a woman's infatuation is with a man in prison. I'll never get that. Like, there's been no fruit. The fruit has been bad, and you've been caught. But, like I said, man, you have, you have women that want to be counted as wise that are attracted to these low vibrational men. And it, it, it's right in front of you. The same thing, you got men, uh, you, you, you gotta think, you got Caucasian men that will go out, you know, and, and live a professional life and then go look for a trick on the corner. Like, what is in you that wants these low vibrational people? And you wonder why it's embarrassing when you get caught up in some foolishness. They be like, CEO caught downtown with a, uh, a, a, a crackhead hooker. You be like, what? Wait a minute. I'm telling you, man, a lot of your tribulations is gonna come from the choice of men and women that you, you choose to deal with. Your flesh will be attracted to no good and nothing people. But in righteousness, man, you want people that can produce good fruit. That man may not have a million, that man may not be a millionaire, but guess what? He can provide for you, he can protect you, he can be a spiritual cover. I'm telling you, a lot of women jump ship for these no good, uh, no good men. You got a good man at home and you jump ship for one of these old hood ninjas. You know, Joko don't want to do nothing, want to sag his pants off his butt. What in that, and, 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 and women say, I like his swag. The hell? You know, men out here, you 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 attracted to these women that got all these piercings and tongue rings, and you wondering why you getting aired out. You wondering why it's a it's a, a, a headache. Man, you chose these people. Leave these hood rats and hood ninjas alone. Man, if you if you are living and existing in a place where people got a low frequency, you got to make it out. Oftentimes, the reason you can't stay out of those situations is because you took a hood ninja or a hood rat with you, and they don't want to. Man, how many times we seen these rappers have an opportunity to get free, they can change the trajectory of their life, and what do they do? Try to go back and say the whole hood and get knocked off. Leave these hood rats and hood ninjas alone. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking about low vibrational, low frequency 
people. It doesn't have to do anything with you being rich or wealthy. No, just some people choose not to have common sense. Some people willfully want to remain ignorant. That's what I'm talking about. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.